So in a previous video, I talked about some AXL upgrades to the first beer carrier here, the Strandhog MBAV Cup in this case. Today we're going to look at another upgrade. This one's from Rain Tactical. If you haven't heard of Rain, um, well, if you're in the serving in the US forces, you probably will have because every BX I've been into, they'll have like ID holders and belts and little pieces of kit like that made by Rain. Um, even when I've been deployed and, and stuff like that. So all over the world in the American equivalent to the uh, shitty spa shop we have on British bases, um, yeah, you will see Rain kit. And they've recently expanded into some very modern new designs. They've got a lot of stuff with the first beer tubes, a laser cut, uh, low bearing gear, cord cordura gear for military uses. Um, and then a little while back on soldier systems, I saw a Kickstarter for this thing, which is the Bridger. Uh, now, that's what the Bridger is. That would explain why it exists and why they've made it. Obviously, the first beer tubes, extremely popular, makes getting your plate carrier off and putting it back on again, absolutely a cinch. Super quick, it's even quicker and easier when you're not on a camera, of course. Um, these are wildly popular. Loads of people want these. They're putting them on their cry plate carriers, all sorts of stuff. The one criticism I tend to hear, the probably the most prevalent criticism of these is that there's no pals, there's no molly mounting area right here where the tube is. Uh, you've got this gap between where the pals ends on the front plate bag. And then you've got a couple inches there before the pals on the cummerbund starts. This is an older cummerbund, so it doesn't have the armor backing here. That's been fixed. But um, yeah, the, the issue with the pals remains. A lot of people want to put pouches in this area. And with other brands, you can do that. So what the bridger does, it bridges the gap. So it just sits right here. It just gives you a pals compatible mounting surface for any pouches or anything else that you want to carry on this area of your plate carrier. Um, it's double spaced, so you get you get attachment points and, and double the positional options for your pouches. Um, just laser cut. It's not 612 compatible, or at least my one isn't. There's no loop here on the inside. I can't show you it because this thing's sewn up super tight. Um, but any standard pouch with threading straps on the back will just go on here. Now, what's it actually made of? Very simple. It's just a wire frame in a in a open square shape here under the Cordura. Uh, and they have just laser cut this little platform, a couple of other pieces, stitched it around the wireframe. It's a good quality piece. I probably aluminium, seems very light. This, is, this whole thing weighs absolutely nothing, by the way. Um, nice, resilient frame. It's not gonna snap, it's not brittle. It's got a very nice looking surface finish to it. Feels almost rubbery. It's like a thick Cerakote, maybe. I'm not sure, but it's not going to corrode on you at any point. That is for sure. You see the stitching here. We've got bar tacks. We've got at least double, if not triple, stitching all the way down the front of this panel. Hopefully, this focuses. Similar on the back. All very neatly done. Now, what else do you get in the packet? If you order one of these from Rain, you get some mounting pieces. Again, all that the quality remains. This is all legit multicam, you know, as you'd expect. Uh, little bits and pieces. You've got an extension loop for the pull cord here if you want it. Got Velcro one wrap interfaces with the 612. Uh, the only thing that is a bit of a cludge on these, to be honest, is that part of the mounting is zip ties. Yes, you read that right. However, if you've ever worked with zip ties, I mean, proper, like good quality zip ties, these things are double hard motherfuckers. I mean, they are nails. Like, they're so hard to break. Uh, you also get the instruction manual, the, the totally over-the-top mounting instructions. Um, and these also have links somewhere. Oh, yeah. There's a URL links to a video as well on how you install this thing. Um, this isn't an installation video. I just wanted to show you the product, how it's made, um, and what it looks like mounted and what it does for you. So I'm going to go away and mount it because that's going to be slightly tedious. I'm going to show you what it looks like after all of that. And so, yeah, I'll be back in a 
zero seconds thanks to the magic of the internet. And there we have it folks, one rain tack bridger mounted on first bit strand hog. Tube still works. It takes a tiny bit more force and effort to undo the tubes, like a very small amount. It's very, very slightly more involved to get the tube reattached. Uh, but you still just, as before, you just line it up, click it together. There you go. You got your pals mounting surface over there now. You can see the difference between the two sides. Pals here, no pals. You get an extender strap for the normal release tube uh, if you need it, if you want both sides to be quick release. Uh, but you can leave this piece off, but it's included. I haven't cut the ends of the zip ties that hold the thing on, um, which is the last step in the instructions. Uh, I just didn't have a cutting tool near, uh, to hand, but I'll do that later. And um, we've got the metal legs protrude here, as you can see, and there is Velcro uh, that is going inside the cummerbund down into the 612. And this thing, as the back face of it, this thing is absolutely part of the carrier now. It's not, it's absolutely not going anywhere. Like, it's, it's rock solid on the rig. There's not a lot more I can say about it than that. It, it covers the tube up and it, it gives you more, more mounting room. Um, maybe later down the line, they'll do something so you don't have to have the zip ties. But, you know, even with that, I, I absolutely rate and would put my faith in, in, uh, high grade zip ties to, to do the job because I have seen so many military aircraft held together in so many places with zip ties that I don't doubt that they work. I'll put a link to the Rain website uh, down in the description box, of course, along with all my social media. If you want to see lots of kit, check out Instagram and Facebook and the full9.net. Post on there a lot more than YouTube. Um, just a quick look at the Rain Bridger, guys. I think it's a very innovative piece of kit, very good idea. Uh, filled a niche, corrected an issue, a complaint that some people had. It works, it's solid. You know, this is obviously only uh, just me putting it on now. I'm not saying this is not my personal endorsement. Like, yeah, it's good to go, but I'm pretty sure they've already had uh, some much more, some much cooler guys test this thing out in the field, probably in combat, etc., to make sure that it works. Um, so, that side should be covered off. I just wanted to point it out. A good thing to consider. If it's uh, if you want more pouch space on your first beer carrier, uh, give it a look. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.